Welcome, ladies and gentlemen, to a whole bunch of copium from James Wan with regards to Aquaman 2, and allegedly he claims that the behind-the-scenes rumours are just not the reality. Look, they are. They absolutely are. This chap is saving face, uh, face of course he is, but it's very, very apparent to anyone with even the remotest level of brain cells to accept that clearly there's been that behind-the-scenes drama. You had one of the main stars, one of the main stars, going through the one of the highest profile civil cases, right, court cases, for the past, what, 10? 10, 10-odd 10 years? Maybe even longer than that? Amber Heard, you're going to tell me that that didn't cause any amount of upheaval? Bollocks. Pull the other one, chap. Not only that, we, we all know that James Wan was going to be given the keys to a, a horror element of DC. He was going to be making a film called The Trench. That got cancelled. And all of his ideas had to get reworked. You're going to tell me that didn't cause any issues as well? You're going to tell me that the restructuring of Warner Brothers DC behind the scenes didn't cause any issues? Really? Come on. There are some people that will be that naive to believe this. But I give my audience much more credit than to believe they are that stupid. So, we're all on the same page, because you, my audience, are not that dumb. There absolutely was some behind-the-scenes rumours, and this is all a bunch of copium. So, I thought we'd take a look at it, because it's funny. Hit subscribe if you are new here, turn the bell notifications on. Uh, that's actually super important. It's unlikely that YouTube will actually notify you, but if you do, maybe it will. So please do chuck them on. Uh, let's go, right? So... Let's take a look. Obviously, can I go through bit by bit? We have the recap of how Aquaman 2018 was a success. It was. I do not think they're going to uh, sort of, you know, recreate that level of success. They go on to state that obviously the sequel was a no-brainer. Of course it was. But remember, during all of that, they were going to be another movie, The Trench. Um, we've had, you know, sort of COVID-induced delays during all of this. Warner Brothers, even they note the reshuffle. Uh, and then from there, you know, there's been rumours. So what have been the rumours? Well, studio interference, extensive reshoots. We know that they've reshot stuff. There's actually been a whole bunch of behind-the-scenes photos that have leaked. So if they don't end up in the movie, then yeah, obviously there have been reshoots. But the go-to for these people are, there's always reshoots, it doesn't make a difference. Uh, it does if you're reworking the entire film. Anyway, here's some of this cope. I've had to learn to be more zen in dealing with all the noise around me, for sure, James Wan tells Empire, as part of their massive cover story for Aquaman, something which Warner Brothers undoubtedly paid for. So again, this is all utter nonsense. I'm a pretty private person, he says. I don't get on social media and have fights, but it's difficult because this narrative has emerged that is not the reality. The noise is fun to write about and it gets clicks, but people don't know the truth. No, true. But again, this is very unlikely. You'd have to be a moron to think this is completely true what he's saying. There may have been a change in leadership over at DC, but one gives the impression that he felt secure in realising his vision for the sequel and in maintaining the epic, eccentric tone he had established in Arthur Curry's first outing. Look, I'm a collaborative filmmaker. I welcome people's thoughts and opinions. But ultimately, I feel I have more than proven myself. So it was like, this is the movie I want to make. So with regards to reshoots, one argues that they were in line with what's expected for a film as big uh, as as, well, as big and scale as Aquaman The Lost Kingdom. There you go. That's the go-to, ladies and gents. Oh, that's just in line. No, it's not. And they say this, you know, we probably did seven or eight days, which is nothing for a movie of this size. Uh, it was just spread out because it's so hard to get your actors back once you've finished the initial shoot. They haven't been doing anything, guys. So no, it's not. But also, this is not the case because we know that you had... Uh, ben Affleck in the movie, we know you had Michael Keaton in the movie. No. Who's going to believe this? This is utter nonsense. So, these extra days, one reminds us, can always spawn something new and exciting. Oh, there you go. So, you did reshoot stuff. I built an entire franchise from a reshoot, he says, referring to his extremely successful The Nun franchise. So, you did reshoot stuff. You did change stuff. Oh, okay then. So, which one's true? Did, did you reshoot stuff? Did you not reshoot stuff? Did the narrative change or did it not change? I'm not the kind of person that says this movie has to be 
uh, turning out exactly how I planned it in day one. Your art will never be... Or Hold on. You, I mean, this... I'm not the kind of person that says this movie has to turn out exactly how I planned it day one. This is the movie I want to make. What? That's a kind of contradiction there, James, my boy. But never mind. Uh, whatever the ups and downs were in creating second Aquaman film, they haven't deterred one from considering the possibility of directing another installment. But we know this isn't happening anyway. Do you see why this is all lies, pure lies? I haven't directed a third movie in a series before, so I'd be open to doing another Aquaman if I got the same freedom I've had on these first two. But we know you're not going to do that, because we know, ladies and gents, that Jason Momoa is going to be Lobo more than likely in the new DC. So, pure, utter lies and nonsense. I'm not sure what direction Gunn and Saffron are going in though, so who knows? I've learned to never say never. Right, okay. Well, this is pure no nonsense and cope, isn't it? For a movie that they're probably very concerned about, because this movie would have had a substantial amount of money spent on it. Substantial. Massive amounts of money. Flash. Holy good God, Flash has lost money. Probably about $300 million, give or take. A lot of cashola is down the drain. Uh, and they obviously want Aquaman 2 to do very, very well. Because that would reflect terribly on everyone involved. Because the first one broke a billion. So if the second one doesn't get close to that... Well, one, they're not going to make any money. But two... It doesn't, it doesn't spell success in any, any way, shape, or form. But this is all massive cope. Again, you're going to tell me that one of the stars going through one of the biggest, most high-profile civil law cases in current history, you know, easily probably the last 10, 15 years. I mean, it was a cultural phenomenon, Johnny Depp versus Amber Heard. You're going to tell me that has absolutely no impact on a movie. No behind-the-scenes issues at all. Honestly. Behave, chap. Behave. We're seeing the same god-awful CGI that was in The Flash rearing its head in this one. Which indicates they don't want to spend more money on it because they know it's not going anywhere. You're telling them about making a third one full of it. Now, this isn't James Wan's fault, by the way. He's paid to promote the movie. So he has to. This is Warner Brothers' fault for throwing him under the bus... By paying Empire to do a cover story. Because that absolutely would have happened. And so he's now thrown under the bus. And having to try and promote this. Whilst also looking like a total idiot. So I'd love to hear your thoughts. Drop them down below. Cheers guys. Take care. Bye bye now.